Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful time in this second ever video at Beat the Clock. We are going to look at how to choose the best line when we're having bib number 30 or more. Now, before we get started, I always appreciate an early thumbs up. It helps me out massively. So thank you very much and let's jump right into it. The guy we are looking at today is named Stefan Brennsteiner. He is skiing in the Austrian World Cup team, so he kind of knows what he's doing. Video was made this summer in Sasfe by none other than my awesome friend and colleague at Ski Zenit, Juanra. So thank you, thank you, thank you for letting me use the video. If you want to find out more about Ski Zenit, then check out their website, the link is in the description below. So who's Stefan Brennsteiner again, the guy we're looking at today? He is, as I said, Austrian um, World Cup team. And here you can see his last five races. Two times European Cup number one, which is pretty dang good. And then DNF1, DNF2 in Kamish and Chamonix. And recently in Sölden made it 17th, which is obviously very, very good. So knowing that he is skiing really well, we are going to look at the line that he chooses and how that line relates to the tracks that we're seeing in the course right now. Just like the last time, I want to highlight where the tracks of the outside skis are, which is what you see in black right there. I will explain why there is only one specific line you should choose, and I will do so by showing you two ways that will most often not work for you. One of them is shown with the red line. The idea is to shorten the radius and ski on the inside of the tracks. This doesn't work well because we're going to sort of fall back into the tracks around the last part of the turn. Which means that the skis temporarily lose the traction and therefore we're not going to carry all the speed towards the end of the turn. Another way to ski slowly is something I used to do, which is trying to just ski on the very outside of the tracks. The reason why this is slow is fairly obvious. When we ski further away from the gate, we have to cover more distance. And we all know that to cover more distance at the same speed means it just takes longer. Finally, this is what we should be doing when we're facing tracks similar to those in the video. Actually, it's very simple. We try to have our outside ski exactly where the tracks are. This has several advantages. One being, we don't have to focus on the line too much and we can concentrate on other things. Another advantage is that we are less likely to lose our outside ski which is another way to say our outside ski is not likely to slide away. Having that in mind, let's take a look at Stefan and which line he chooses to ski. Until the second blue gate, we don't see much of the line, so we're leaving the first turns uncommented. The blue gate seems to have two lines for the outside ski, so Stefan goes right in between those until they all join together. He jumps a little bit and slides the beginning of the turn, which allows him to keep a high line. Was this turn fast? Um, probably not, but he has a high line at the end of it and here is where the fun begins. His outside ski is right where the tracks are and now it looks a bit like a train on rails. Very smooth, very fast, very stable. The next turn is similar, his outside ski exactly where the track is and Boom, super fast. Here we have tracks that are not as easy to ski in, but I think Stefan makes a small mistake, leaning to the inside a little too much. This messes up the turn, but he doesn't seem to be affected as much as he still keeps the line and doesn't lose too much speed. The next turns are almost difficult to comment. He skis inside the tracks and this results in a couple of amazingly beautiful turns. I mean, just look at them. Just just look at them. Whew. This wraps up the video. I hope you'll remember the most important thing. Stay inside the tracks and you'll be fine. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. 
If you've got any questions, and I hope you do, please let me know in the comment section down below. Also check out Skis in it, and don't forget to leave a like. Thank you, and have a great day, or night, or...